Jason Phillips from Auto Appraise, AutoAppraise.com. Getting ready to test drive a 1971 Plymouth Cuda. Original billboard car per fender tag. It's got a shaker hood added. It's a factory steel shaker hood. It's not part of the fender tag options, and that's an aftermarket shaker unit. The car is an original factory black car with original white billboards. V1X, I believe, is the code on that. It's got a set of factory louvers on the back. I ran a magnet all the way around the car. It's got really good adhesion. This panel right here has had a section and replaced, but even with refrigerator business card style magnets, still sticks real nice. Car's got a rumbling 360 in it. It's originally an H code car, 340 car. Had a set of 15 by 8s reproduction rallies in the rear, 15 by 7s in the front. VFG radial, two and a half inch performance exhaust. Underbody's done very nicely. All the fuel lines, brake lines, clips, etc., were changed. No swelling in the seam along the rocker panels. Floor panels are in very nice shape. A light coat of black paint on them, no heavy undercoating or decay noted. Some cosmetic surface decay on the rockers. The reflective quality of the paint is really nice. You can read large bold print from uh, 10, 12, 14 inches away really easily. Slightly a little more orange feel down here in the lower areas. Just slightly. Probably won't pick it up in the video. Engine compartment is detailed really nice. Missing a screw in the headlight bezel and these fog lights are inoperable. That's got to be addressed, but nothing serious. No cracks in the dash. It was reconditioned nicely. We're getting ready to take her for a ride right now. Got an added wing. It's a go wing in 70, but uh, in 71 it's a... A gull. A gull wing. Yeah, like the bird because of the wings and the gull is... I'm riding along today. Car, as you can see, it's snowing out here. We just pulled it out of the garage and it's been warming up for about five minutes. We're up to about 135. Temp may not get any warmer than that today. It's cold out there. It's Michigan, November uh, 18th, I believe today is. Yeah. Oil pressure is holding about 65 pounds. It's got an aftermarket stereo installed in the correct original holes. CD player. Speedometer operates, but you can see it's got a little bit of a bounce to it. And it's definitely running probably 20, 25 miles an hour higher than what we're driving. The car's got a factory original style pistol grip in it. Her shifter bolted up to a five-speed aftermarket transmission. Tachometer shows to be operating. Fuel gauge appears to be working and it appears that we're charging. The vent poles operate. The car bear operates. The reverse light lights up. All the lockout mechanisms still hooked up in the count on the uh, column rather. It's got an added rim blow steering wheel. Not part of the fender tag, but a nice upgrade. This is not exactly the most pristine weather to be driving a car like this in the state of Michigan, but this is what we get sometimes in November and December. shift out without issue. Whereabouts is that clutch engaging off the floor, would you say, percentage-wise? The, the way the center force engage it, like, I'll show you as it goes down. Okay. Oh, okay. Clutch engagement's pretty uh, close, probably within 25% of the floor. Right. It's an upgraded center force clutch. driving it on the way back here shortly, so in my opinion, uh, will be shed. But that steering wheel's not bouncing at all. I'll take your hands off the wheel a little bit. Yeah, we're in a kind of a bumpy two track, so it's probably not a very good road to do that on, but the steering wheel's certainly not jumping around. The car doesn't appear to be acting in an unusual manner. It's got nice road manners. A little bit of wind 
curb leakage over here, but the wind's blowing about 40 miles an hour today, maybe 50 it feels like. A little bit of rattling going on, but nothing, uh, nothing too disconcerting. Idle oil pressure is about 50 pounds. We're coming up to about 160 on the gauge. Odometers are 01861 right now. I do believe it's functioning. Second, I thought to fourth. I forgot you had a five speed in here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you gotta, you can't fight it. It's, it's if you try to fight it, it wants it. You kind of gotta throw it. It's kind of a strange, strange transmission. Because you use trying to, if you ever drive a regular four speed, it's really far away. So if you drive this one far away, you're in fifth gear when you're thinking you're. You want to be in third? roll down the road pretty nice. The speedometer gear that drives that speedo cable probably needs to be addressed or changed or maybe the speedo recalibrated because it's showing us going definitely faster than what the car feels like it's doing. Michigan today. We've got 310 inspectors on the ground nationwide. Let us know if we can do a vehicle for you sometime. 800-301-3886.